Amazing. Thank you for that, Ashley. Um, I'm so excited to be here. And it was actually, it, it worked out perfectly because a big part of, of what I am interested in and doing in the coaching space is integrating yoga as well. So um, we got to talking on making this class kind of more specific to what I want to offer. And so we will be doing a bit of it will be a shorter flow, it will be about like half hour, and then we'll have some time to um, talk about some things that I want to address with this class. Um, but more about me is I, um, I've been doing yoga my whole life, not my whole life, but since I was for like 10 years now, so since I was young, but um, I didn't really feel like I, I always saw it as like an exercise. And I think that's how it's always been taught to us. Um, and through time, I've had a different relationship with the practice always. Um, but this past year, I was living abroad. And it was a really unique experience for me to kind of be out on my own in a new country. Um, and it really challenged my perspective on what I think I know my life should be like or what I should be doing versus what I truly was feeling was right for me. Um, so it became an entire kind of self journey within. And through that, I got deeper into my yoga practice. I got deeper into nutrition, into meditation. And um, I ended up doing my yoga training in Thailand um, for a month, which was a really, really special experience. Um, and through my travels and through that experience, I kind of realized that there's always a conversation around people wanting to go inward, but not really understanding what it looks like and that you kind of have the tools really in front of you because it's, it's you, you are your tool. Um, so, you know, there would be conversations around, I want to meditate, but I can't sit for an hour. I want to do yoga, but I'm not a yogi. I can't bend, I'm not flexible. I want to start, you know, journaling, but I don't know what to write. Um, and it was like, no matter where I was and the people I met around the world, they all said similar things and it kept becoming a conversation. It was like a message to me, like, this is something that I need to address. Um, so coming back, I, I also really wanted to start a coaching program that had a well-rounded approach to it. It incorporated nutrition, incorporated like inner child work and, and more like the spiritual side, but it also had the fundamentals and had a really strong education, um, educational program. And I stumbled across coaching training EDU kind of just online and I spoke with a representative on the phone for like two hours and it was a perfect fit. So here I am and I'm super excited to be able to share both uh, the practice of yoga and also kind of going in and, and uh, getting in touch with yourself throughout it. So we are going to, before we start, I wanted to address what this practice really I want to focus on today. And I think that especially in this time, um, it's really easy to attach the comforts that we have. So maybe like your morning cup of coffee is like that safety net for you to start your day, or you need that, that warm fuzzy blanket to make you feel safe. Um, and I kind of want you guys to drop that attachment for a bit. Like think about what it is that you know makes you feel safe and comfortable that's probably external and kind of let go of that for now and just focus on your body and your heart not your brain that might start acting up when you're just when you're uncomfortable telling you get out of this position you needed you know i can't wait for my morning coffee just like be here and i really want you to give the opportunity to give the microphone to your body and allow it to speak to you to see what comes up. There's a lot of things going on right now. We hold trauma and emotions in the cells of our body. So move through it, whatever comes up, maybe it's nothing, maybe it's everything, let it pass through you. And yeah, I just encourage you to surrender to that today. So 